hey guys welcome to tech learnings today we continue with gradle and uh, we will continue from the point where we left in our last session which was uh, writing down the custom tasks within gradle right so we had uh, started up uh, with gradle how to write down a Gradle application with the help of notepad how to build it how to run it and then same we tried using ide then we did uh, try to learn custom tasks what all uh, benefits does it provide so today we will continue from uh, the point where we left like i said uh, so we left with custom tasks we'll try to explore more griddle and see what all features functionalities does it provide to us okay so if you haven't seen all that stuff i would request you to go through that first i would i would post the links in the description as well okay otherwise it will be difficult for you to understand uh, this okay so we left with writing down the custom tasks so we have uh, here with us a custom task named hello and uh, we had uh, written down a statement which is uh, this out statement of java hello task executed which is okay so let's try to run our task hyphen q option we know that it used to suppress the logs so it says hello task executed cool so so far this stuff we had uh, covered up now uh, i left you with one question since this is let's seems to be a java statement right up front so can i remove this semicolon and still my task get executed yes it does what if I remove this parenthesis? Will it still work? Yes. What if I say system dot println? Will it still work? Yes, it does. So does it? Uh, is it really a Java code now? Right. We have written system dot println and it says hello task executed. Now how is it? Uh, how Gridle is able to identify this statement and uh, uh, means get to know that what we want to perform. Okay, so this is again a question to you. <laughs> I have told the answer to the previous one. Now again a question. So the I would request you guys to explore it and uh, let me know the answer as well. Okay. So system dot println system dot out dot println it was Java statement and. Uh, now Gradle is uh, basically based, the base of build.gradle file is Groovy. So Groovy language is the one which uh, like here apply plugin, build.gradle follows Groovy code. If you see the documentation of Gradle as well, so there also you'll find all the examples given in Groovy. So we'll try to in uh, stick to that standard of Gradle in subsequent tutorials as well so print len and then uh, followed by whatever you want to print this is groovy equivalent of this out you can say so let's try to execute our hello task now okay so this is what we get the output now let's continue and we want to learn two new things today which is uh, there is something which we call as do first if i want to do something at the very beginning of uh, the task right so in the curly braces we are specifying the action so if we want to do something at the very beginning so we have do first and the same way if we want to do something at the very end so we have something which is called do last okay so let's say i write here hello first and hello last executed and uh, little hyphen q hello so we have hello first and we have hello last okay so yeah so these two things are important we'll frequently use this in our further uh, you can see lessons as well now for let's try to see how to write down a loop in uh, you can say griddle groovy code and 
we'll try to exec uh, we'll try to learn the concept of dynamic tasks now what is a dynamic task as the name also says dynamic means something which happen at runtime all right so here we are creating the task right we are writing our task and uh, in the build or riddle file now can we can it happen all right the task is created dynamically at runtime by griddle so such a task is called dynamic task okay so let's try to create let's try to run a loop let's say n number of times and then try to create the task in each iteration of that loop okay so let's say i want to run a loop three times so in griddle we can write three dot times okay and then a counter variable is like uh like uh what i say like in java we write for loop right for int i equals to zero so that i equivalent you can say counter it's counter is just a name right it's not necessary that uh, you can write i here as well that's for the simplicity purpose let's write it as i okay uh, then how to create the task task followed by the name of task so followed by name of task let's say i say my task and uh, let's say dollar i will give me the value of i so my task one my task two this way my task three my task four my task five so this way the things are going to get executed so every task we need to specify its action let's say I just copy it in order to save the time do last statement and uh, let's say uh, task executed and uh, let's say I want to print out value of uh, I value of I dollar I now we can write it down like this or what what we can try is name of task is my task dollar i that would be more informative okay so since i'm writing in notepad so bear with me with the syntax <laughs> okay so executed griddle hello that's fine we don't need this now so now if now this loop is running three times right so zero one two right so this my task zero my task one my task two so these three tasks must be created if they are created then we must be able to execute them as well right so let's try to say griddle hyphen q my task 0 okay so it says name of task is my task 0 now let's say my task 1 cool my task 2 cool my task 3 not cool <laughs> right so since we had uh, created in our build or riddle file three dot times so the loop was going to execute three times so we are going to have three tasks right my task zero my task one my task two so riddle says that uh, it is not able to find this task which we tried to run my task three and it is also suggesting that some candidates are my task zero one two and riddle tasks is of course the by default one which we have okay so this is how hmm, one can create a dynamic task within griddle right so we try to see basically today do first do last um, try to start learning some groovy code as well how to write a down a loop within uh, groovy and uh, how to create dynamic tasks within griddle okay so that's it for today and uh, we'll try to like i said we'll try to continue learning more and more in the subsequent videos subsequent tutorials so let me know if you did not uh, understand any point in this 
and uh, yeah see you next time thank you so much for watching bye